They are designed to give you instant access and control over your power usage. But more and more people are signaling their health concerns over wireless smart meters being installed on virtually every home in South Florida. Contact 5 investigator Dan Krauth heard those worries and decided to put the meters to the test. He joins us tonight with more. Dan? Kelly, I first told you about fire concerns related to the installation of smart meters last November. Since then, we have been working for you, answering calls and emails from across the area and across the country about the new device. Tonight, there is a new concern, a health concern. Take a look at what we found. And I will resist this as long as I can. As an interior designer, it's Stephanie Austin's job to make homes feel warm and inviting. But as you can see, there's one thing that's not welcomed at her Vero Beach home. You know, I want our community to be, to be safe. She marked her meter can. While Greg Morton has built something even stronger to prevent a new meter from being installed on his home in the acreage. If I put my welder and some um, angle iron and weld it up a little jail. They're not alone. There have been smart meter protests and anti-smart meter websites popping up across the country. Some cities have even put installation on hold. This is a lifetime issue. Uh, it's not going away. Um, there are lawsuits popping up around the nation. Here's why they're concerned. This is the old analog meter. It has a spinning dial and a meter reader has to come out to take measurements. As you can see, the new meters are digital and have a two-way radio built in. It transmits pulses of information called radio frequency or RF that lets the power company know how much energy you're using. No more cables, no more meter readers. You can't see or hear RF, but it is all around us, coming from these satellite dishes, your cell phones, your iPads, and many other wireless devices. We can't shut it off. They're worried about the long-term health effects of the radio frequency waves that come from a device they can't shut off. Unfortunately, my meter is about six foot from the head of my bed, so if it's putting out RF waves 24-7, then I'm getting saturated with uh, RF waves. We tracked down an expert in wireless technology to help put a meter to the test. I have this antenna. Greg Meeker of Radio Works RF Consulting in Lake Worth used an antenna and what's called a spectrum analyzer to measure just how much RF was coming from a smart meter. First, he placed the antenna 10 feet away from the meter. Okay, so the energy the meters create is minuscule. You can see the energy level peak when the meter transmitted information. These peak little bits of data or bits of RF energy are coming from this smart meter. But Minker says it was at very low levels. He tested the meter again, this time with the antenna right next to the meter. Even at the level that I recorded, it's still a level of energy that would be considered absolutely harmless. Next, he compared the levels with not just one, but three different types of cell phones. All right, the phone is on. Okay, this phone is making even less energy than my phone was. Minker says each one of the three phones gave off more wireless energy than the smart meter. You said that it, it could be more dangerous to have a cell phone in your pocket than a smart meter outside of your home, according to these measurements. It could be. But just days after our testing, a group of doctors with the American Academy of Environmental Medicine called for a stop to smart meters until more testing can be done, stating there are credible questions about genetic and cellular effects from RF exposure, especially in children. They go through rigorous testing to ensure accuracy and safety. A spokesperson for FPL says the meters are safe, approved by the FCC. Smart meters are dormant 99% of the time, and they emit a very, very low powered uh, signal. For these homeowners, it doesn't matter. We want more research. We want public hearings. After calling in their concern, FPL has put Stephanie and Greg's homes on hold. Putting a structure around the meter, whether it's a box or any other kind of structure, is, is not only dangerous, but it's against state rule. Don't force us to have the meters. Have an opt-out program. If you want to charge a little bit more to have a meter reader come out and read it, then I would be okay with that. Again, they do warn customers against doing anything that would block the meter or tamper with the meter. So, Dan, uh, to clarify, is there an option that's acceptable to power companies for people to say, I just don't want these? Well, as of right now, every FPNL home in South Florida will have a meter, a new meter, by the end of next year. And right now, there is no opt out program. You can call them if you have concerns. And some of the homeowners that we spoke with have been put on a hold list, which means they will be the last to be installed in their community. But there is no definite opt out program at this point.